All right, so I lost the first video file where I did a, a pocket cut and poured the white and black epoxy. Uh, so you're kind of catching me uh, getting going on the second phase of this multi-step cut. Uh, so I'm doing a project for my son. I thought I had some extra epoxy. thought it'd be fun to, uh, to do a little project for him. He is a Miami Dolphins fan. Uh, so spoiler alert, that's what I'm building. So as you can see here, I'm using a eighth inch end mill uh, to do the cutout. Uh, this is a roughing pass. All of this was designed and done in multi-steps in easel. And overall, I found the process uh, working in easel quite simple, um, worked well. So I've just finished the roughing pass with that uh, eighth inch end mill and I'm switching out for a ball nose end mill. Uh, I only have easel uh, standard. And so what I've done here is I've just set it up as basically a two millimeter end mill, uh, which based on my depth of cut was the diameter of the end mill at about two mils. So it allowed me to kind of fake it out. Um, essentially, I picked a, a 16th inch end mill, um, but I'm using a, a ball nose end mill for this cut. So with that detail cut done, I'm switching out to a quarter inch end mill to add an additional ring in between the white and the black epoxy, where I'm gonna add a section of blue epoxy. So as this cut finished and I got it cleaned up, I noticed I could still see a little bit of MDF between uh, the black and the white epoxy. So I just went into easel and I created an additional offset ring and then set up a new cut just to cut into the white and the black a little bit more. So when I pour that blue, it'll be between the white and the black and there'll be no MDF uh, showing in between those rings. There was just a sliver of it left. So I felt it was best to go back and clean it up. With that cut done, I mixed up some epoxy. You can see me pouring the blue epoxy for the main dolphin body and then pouring the blue for that second ring. So now I have black on the outside, blue into white. And I come back with a bit of orange that I mixed up and fill in the sunburst around the dolphin. So that's had a chance to dry now. And here I'm getting ready for the second cut. So this will be the lower part of the dolphin body. Again, I'm starting with a eighth inch compression end mill. Then a quick cleanup and switch it out for the ball nose end mill to do the detail pass. So with that detail pass finishing up, I can get things cleaned up and pour a slightly darker blue epoxy for the lower part of the body. Clean it up a little bit. And once it's dry, uh, you can see I'm coming back. I've got my surfacing bit ready to go. Uh, so this is just to take down some of the uh, larger overpours of the epoxy. I'll save some of the sanding and make life a little bit easier. I'm not intending to take it down too far, uh, just enough that when I pull out the sander, it's a little bit faster. So looking at the project, I noticed there were still a few high spots, so I just went into easel and set the uh, depth of cut just a little bit lower. In this case, I'm only taking uh, about half of a millimeter. Uh, I started with just taking a 0.2 millimeters and, and ended up taking about half a millimeter off in the end and cleaned it up with the vacuum and decided we were close enough to use the sander. 
Uh, so I started with some 80 grit sandpaper uh, just to take down some of the high spots that still existed. I didn't want to run the surfacing bit too much more, um, but the sander made pretty quick work of cleaning, cleaning up some of those high spots. So I've come back with the sander a few different times, uh, just each time going up in grit and doing a, a cleanup in between each pass uh, just to try and make everything nice and even and make sure that the colors are nice and defined on the epoxy. So after the sanding and some cleanup, I'm putting in the eighth inch compression end mill and just getting ready to do a profile cut around the outside with some tabs uh, to get the project ready to come off of the CNC machine. So with the profile cut done, did a little bit of cleanup and some additional sanding up to 280 grit. With that complete, I can take it out of the clamps and using the oscillating tool, cut the tabs free. I added a roundover on the back side of the project and finished it with a bit of varathane on the top. And overall, I think it came out really well. It was a fun project to do, and my son is super excited. Thanks for joining me on this project.